Hello everyone, Morgan from Maria Edge Networks and welcome to our latest audio video installation. We're just outside Hermanus and have completed a fully integrated home AV and audio and video solution for our customer. Everything in this house has been taken care of from the home network, Wi-Fi, Sonos and this interesting hidden home cinema solution that we put together. On this project, delivering a result for our client that was accurate in both audio and video reproduction was something that was very important to us. For that reason, we've enlisted the services of Charles Lotta and had him out here with his colorometer and spectrometer so that he can measure the projected output of the Epson projector we have here on the projection screen and ensure that it's calibrated accurately for both a daytime viewing mode where the the curtains and blinds can be open, maybe the down lights can be on, and then we've also got a nighttime mode which we'll demonstrate in a few moments. But that has been a part of the process, making sure that we have the correct equipment, the educated correct person out here to be able to calibrate it correctly, you know, Shaw being a, a certified PVA video calibrator, and making sure that this system delivered on the expectations of our customer. We've now switched the projector onto the nighttime viewing setting, and closed the curtains, closed the blinds, switched off the down lights, and as you can see, the image has been switched to a less bright setting. Contrary to popular belief, ultra-saturated, bright, punchy images are not actually accurate according to what the filmmaker has intended. So for that reason, we've made sure that when the light is uh, for an evening setting, we actually have accurate color reproduction on this projection screen. The basis of this hidden home cinema solution started with this pair of Golden Ear Triton 1 floor standing hi-fi speakers. Our client had these already from his previous house and had chosen these as his primary home cinema and stereo listening speakers in this room. So what we've chosen to do is build out the system with these as the central focal point and added additional speakers to complement a Dolby Atmos surround sound system. When our client moved into this house, the television was actually in the bookshelf on the right hand side over here. The bookshelf has been completely redesigned and a mantelpiece was added to this fireplace. We've done some special cabling work to get a cable through here for this Golden Ear reference center channel to be installed at the top here as it perfectly matches the pair of floor standing hi-fi speakers. For our Surround, rear and Atmos speakers, we've chosen to work with M&K as we've had incredible success with their home cinema line of speakers. These are the M40T tripod surround speakers, which we've done a special bit of cabling work to get the cables from the amplifier down to here, and they work perfectly as our surround speakers in this installation. Because of the open plan nature of this room and the incredibly high ceilings, we've wanted to reintroduce more low frequency energy uh, through some subwoofers into the room. So what we've chosen to do is pair two M&K V8 subwoofers with the two Golden Ear Triton 1 floor setting hi-fi speakers to ensure that we have even consistent bass across the entire room and are able to fulfill the real movie quality soundtrack that you'd expect uh, while watching in a room like this. On the side of the room, we have implemented this AV cabinet. Our client had three of these from his previous house and we've made sure that we can accommodate all of his electronics in this cabinet. At the center of the entire room is the Anthem AVM70 surround sound processor that's uh, located up at the top. From there, we've got our sources uh, being an Apple TV 4K to provide all the video. Our client watches movies, Netflix, and doesn't watch DSTV, so that wasn't really a consideration here. It wasn't important. Uh, but beyond that, we've got a Sonos port. We've got a Lin Sondek LP12 turntable, and we've got a Cambridge Audio Blu-ray player. Uh, to tie everything together, we've got a Control 4 remote control in here, which makes ease of use of the room uh, absolutely easy to use. Um, we've got a Sherborne seven-channel amplifier that handles all the surround channel, uh, surround channel amplification that came from our, both the amplifiers came from our client's previous property, including these two stunning PS Audio M700 mono blocks, which are powering the Golden Ear floor-standing hi-fi speakers. So that's an overview of the AV equipment. 
that is powering this room. And as I say, the real star of the show being this Anthem AVM70 surround sound processor. Because of our center channel speaker being on a man mantle behind the projection screen, we custom imported a acoustic transparent screen from CMAX projection screens in China. And that's enabled us to have no degradation of the audio from the center channel speaker coming through the projection screen material. From a projection perspective, we've chosen the Epson TW9400 projector. This projector gives us the right amount of light output on our projection screen, as well as being able to be calibrated to be incredibly accurate according to the requirements of this room. So we've used it on a very shallow mount bracket up here above where our clients sit, and it's provided us with a, an impeccable image for this room. A high, high recommendation from us. For ease of use, we have chosen a Control 4 handheld remote control for this room. This gives our client the ability to switch on the system, trigger the projection screen, turn on the amplifier, control the volume, change any source to Apple TV, Blu-ray player, the record player, Sonos port, whatever it might be, and know that it's going to be easy enough to pick it up, understand exactly what's going on. So we feel like the Control 4 remote control was a fundamental part to making this project a success because of its ease of use. Because of the integration with four subwoofers, uh, being the floor standing speakers and the external subwoofers, we needed to take a bit of extra caution and care when calibrating this system. So we level matched the subs and then got onto the process of running Arc Genesis. We uh, centered the primary calibration around our client's primary seat and then made sure that the response was acceptable for both the bass and as well as the rest of the frequencies for this room. As we had decided that this is where the audio video rack was going to be for the room, this led to a few unique challenges that we had to try and work around. Moving to the center of the room, what we had to do was get cabling through to our front left speaker. What we did is we core drilled across behind the fireplace to make sure that all of our cables could get through from the right hand side of the room to the left hand side of the room. Moving further back towards the equipment rack, we took a cable trunking up the wall and routed our cabling for the projection screen and the surround left speaker through the ceiling to the right locations. If we move across to the right hand side of the room, we continue that same cable trunking across the, the bottom of the room uh, and up and cordial into the wall once again and use the cavity wall to fish our speaker cabling for our surround back speakers, Atmos speakers and our projector through the wall itself. Although this was a little bit more work during the initial phase of this project, the result has been uh, more than we could have hoped for. There's no visible cabling anywhere for our work or for our, our part of the project. Um, our client is incredibly happy with the way that it looks. And I think that it was the right choice to go through all that extra effort, core drilling, making special drills, um, and routing the cabling in such a discreet way that you would never think, oh, how did they get that done? It looks as though it was from new build. And that's a wrap from this project of ours here in Hermanus. It's been about eight months since we started this process with our client. There's been many great discussions about how do we achieve the right outcome, the correct considerations to take with regards to the projector, projection screen, the speakers, the amplification, how do we integrate everything. It's been an amazing experience and we'd of course like to extend a welcome to anybody that would like to contact us for a similar sort of solution.